Hi everybody, welcome back. Prison Architect, here we are once again in our federal institution for the women who are criminally challenged. They're, they're all here. They're all here, they're incarcerated, they're where they need to be. And uh, a lot of them have extra free time, but not for much longer. An hour and 55 minutes to go, and then we can finally put these ladies back to work. And then the Club Med syndrome that's plaguing the entire prison will be confined only to Club Med, where there's more free time than uh, most. Because these the people in Club Med, all, all these ladies in Club Med are just living it up. Because, of course, they're white-collar criminals, and white-collar criminals don't have to, like, suffer the same uh, fate as, like, uh, the non-white-collar criminals. But do, is there blue-collar criminals? I don't know. We, we, we may never know. Anyway, we have 94 grand in the bank. Let's speed things up a bit. We're making a lot of money. And the reason we're making so much money is because we're, we're getting people out of here. We're slamming them out of here on the report. Uh, on the re on the reform? The reform programs. That's right. It's paroles. They're getting out of here on parole most of the time. And then a couple of people get executed every once in a while as well, which is pretty great. Do we need to do a shakedown to start things off? No, <laughs> we don't. We just did one. Okay, perfect. It's good to keep on top of your shakedowns. I mean, eventually we'll try to, like, uh, combat uh, the smuggling ring that appears to be uh, running the entire prison uh, by bringing stuff in. Oh, the warden is calling me. Prisoner demands for free time have been indulged for long enough so you can feel free to change the schedule again as you wish. I will definitely do that, bitch. Okay. This is gonna be awesome. Alright, hang on a second. So where is it? It's in, um, needs regime. Oh yeah, okay. How did we have this then? We had work and free time for like, a couple of hours here, didn't we? Okay, we had like a block of like, four hours. And then we had some work and free time, um, after like, just a, some free time. Okay, perfect. This should be good. Alright, and let's just make sure that Supermax don't have free time, okay? Maybe people were dying because of this as well. Super max. And also, we wanted to make sure that these guys were all locked up as well, right? We don't want these guys to have work. Maximum security and super max are just like on constant lockup, right? And that's how it was meant to be. And then work and free time for minimum security and normal security. Okay, that should be fine. I think that that's enough like that. So let's leave it like that. Perfect. Okay, back to work, ladies. That's right, the holiday is over. It's back, it's time to get back to work. Anyway, and it's time for us to get back to work too. We we're in the middle of replanning our protective custody wing. That's right, we're gonna move it out of here. It's this piddly little wing that we've got here is gonna be no longer. We're gonna have this huge ultra wing over here for all of our protective custody needs. I think it's big enough. There's room for expansion as well if we want to or need to later on, but for now I think we're fine. In the next eight hours, we're going to have some more intake, so we're going to have to check to see if anybody qualifies for um, protective custody, as usual. We always have to check. All right, let's go for a building concrete, and let's do this, okay? We pretty much know how this is going to be. It's going to cost us 21 grand to build this bad boy, which is fine. We're good with that. Uh, and then the entrance to this place is going to be here. So let's get some materials down. Let's get some concrete tiles that lead into here like this. Oh, this is going to be really nice. Look at this. All the way in. It's going to be like a little... Oh, God, yeah. And then look, we need another... Here we... This is what I'm talking about. This is... This is what makes the dream work, right? This careful planning all the time. We're always planning in this prison. Planning for the, for the worst, but planning for the best as well. It's minus two degrees. How are we doing temperature-wise across the prison? Not bad, actually. It's looking pretty good. Uh, protective custody is a little bit cold, but that's going to be remedied soon once we get this up and running and we fix it up and then we can repurpose all of this area into other stuff. We've got this huge area down here that we can repurpose as well. We could probably start knocking down some of the walls. Should be pretty good. Um, let's do that actually. Let's just like set an order for like a lot of these walls to go down. We do not need them anymore. We're just going to have like this big open area down here. We're going to add on to it as well. And we're going to expand normal sec out a little bit as well. It's going to be pretty good. Uh, we're gonna maybe like make a foundation here and another foundation here. We we'll probably get rid of some of these water boilers as well and reuse them elsewhere. There's a whole bunch of extra water boilers just sitting here doing nothing. So we might as well just like dismantle them, get them into storage and reuse them. Awesome. This is like pretty much ready to go. This is fucking great. Holy shit. Okay, let's go for a jail door here. We're gonna have a jail door here and here too. It's gonna be like a little airlock. Uh, and then we're also gonna have a jail door here. 
And uh, we're gonna have metal detectors like here, here, and here leading back into the cells. Very important stuff all the time. We want to make sure that it's nice and secure. Even though it's only protective custody, we don't want any ladies escaping, right? That's for damn sure. So we're going to make sure that they don't. And I think we're just going to put them on the same grid as... Oh, I don't know, actually. Maybe it'll have to go on this grid. Uh, although, this one... Okay, yeah, you know what? We are going to do this. We're going to, we're going to run the power up like this. It seems a little bit crazy. But trust me, this is going to be the way to do it. So let's go like this, and then let's have some power going in like that as well. It's going to loop around like this, because this one's going to be already... Um, once these blocks are up and some of these like other services are in in Club Med, this one's going to be taxed to the max. This one, not so bad. It doesn't have the kitchen or anything to cover, so it should be fine. Okay, so we're going to go like that. Then we're going to run some power up here, and then up to here too. And then we're going to have to run power down here like this. We're going to also have to run some power down like that, and then like that, and that's the way it is. There, just like this, and then we'll have a couple like going into here as well, into these little rooms, and we should be good. It's kind of weird, we're like, we're kind of doing this like in, in a weird way, right? Because all of a sudden, we have Club Men, and it's not quite done, it's like a work in progress all the time, and then we've just decided to build another wing as well. We had the money to do it, and honestly it's something that needs to be sorted out, because protective custody right now is a total- Fuck! What the fuck? Somebody just escaped? <laughs> Where? Oh, for fuck's sake, come on! Alright, there's a tunnel somewhere, and I'm not sure where, and we're gonna find out how somebody just managed to escape. I don't even know! Did somebody have keys or something? Like, they got the roadblocks up and everything. How the hell did somebody just escape? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, there's gonna be a tunnel somewhere, right? Maybe we should have done that shakedown. Maybe this is a stark reminder, never cancel a shakedown. Shit! I can't believe somebody escaped! We were escape free for so long as well! Oh no! And look at this! Okay, we're gonna lock this one open. We're gonna lock this one open as well. And lock this one open too. And let's lock this one open too. Uh, because we're gonna start building some walls and stuff and we really need these jobs to finish up. What the fuck? I can't believe that! That is nuts! Okay, we're gonna have to see... Who's coming in here now as well? Let's get Leleni in. All right, Leleni. See what you can find out about some of these new recruits here that have just been dropped off at the front door. See if we can find out if any of them need our help. Some of them might be snitches. Some of them might be ex-law enforcement. Some of them might just be a bunch of gruesome murderers. It's more likely than, than the latter. Oh, fuck. I found the tunnel here. I found one tunnel. Okay. We're gonna get- we're gonna get on top of this. So let's just find out who these guys are and then we're gonna clear these tunnels. I can't believe it. Some pickaxes have been found. Unbelievable. God damn it. Jesus. We're gonna need some sniffer dogs in Club Med as well. These guys are gonna try to escape pretty soon too, I think, the minimum security. Where are you, Leleni? Are you actually making your way here now or what? Leleni? Is that- is that you? Making your way to the security office? No, en route still. Still quite far away, actually. Jeez, Leleni, what the hell are you, have you been up to? Okay, so we've decided to do a shakedown. Excuse me, come on, Leleni. Where are you now? Leleni is just in the laundry room for some reason. All right, we're going to have to get April O'Neil in on this case. All right, and also, we're probably going to have to start processing stuff. There's fucking tunnels everywhere. This is unbelievable. All right, April, are you coming in now or what? Somebody's got to come in. Stop working for Christ's sake, and let's identify some of these prisoners, and let's get rid of some of these tunnels as well, while we're at it. It's not like, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of tunnels, it turns out, and there's a lot of stuff to, to shake down. Some of these guys might start to try to escape in a minute, because they haven't been processed yet, they've just been sitting here forever. Okay, finally! Finally, alright, looks like we got a legendary here. Amelia Akwashim. Okay, let's put you into Supermax straight away, alright? We don't want any legendaries just causing trouble elsewhere. We're gonna put you right into Supermax. Alright, that's good. It's good. We can deactivate both of you now. We don't need you anymore. Okay, now let's get rid of some of these tunnels for Christ's sake. I can't believe somebody escaped. That's unbelievable. Okay, there's lots of tunnels, it turns out. I wonder if there's any over here. No. Alright, tunnels. We'll remove them. We just, like, spanned it across the whole jail. Whoa. The jail is just, like, crashing all the time now as well because it's getting so big. Alright, two shotguns found. I don't know how they managed it, but they, 
managed to get two shotguns, which is unbelievable. Okay, let's dismantle these radiators here that are just like doing nothing. Um, and that's also, look at this like one piece of floor here as well. Kind of nuts. How the hell did they get out? I don't understand. I still don't understand how the shit they got out. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. Oh yeah, look, they don't have access to here either. Look at this is crazy. We're gonna have to like put a door or something. We're gonna have to put like a jail door leading into... I think we could probably... Oh god, it's gonna be... Oh, this is gonna be the worst. You know what we should just do actually? We should just remove these, um, these walls for now because th realistically that is not gonna be a yard, right? Like, it's it's just never going to happen. We're going to have to expand onto the next square before we can get a big old yard for Club Med and think about expanding Club Med. Maybe we can have, like, an internal yard. We could have, like, a yard here that goes, like, there, and then we can have, like, more wing wrap around it. That could be pretty awesome, actually. Maybe we should think about doing that. All right. So, anyway, the tunnels are all gone. Thank God. We didn't have any snitches or anything on that intake, which is pretty good, which means that now we can start building some walls here. We're going to build some some huge walls inside protective custody and get it all set up. We're going to set up some um, some prototype cells as well. Let's get some prototype cells set up so that we can um, we can expand it and get the cells ready for the people to live in and stuff. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, and then we're going to get these as well, these little rooms here. We're going to need a parole room probably. And uh, probably like a cleaning cupboard, maybe a mail room as well could be pretty useful. Um, and then we'll have a canteen with all of the usual crap in it as well. It's going to be pretty good, I think. It's going to be a nice place for these ladies to live uh, out their, uh, their time that they need to serve inside the prison, uh, which is pretty good. I mean, it's not ideal that they're in prison in the first place, but there you go. It's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, let's get some lights uh, in the hallway up here as well, like right in front of the metal detectors so that when... People go through the metal detectors, and they get caught with something going through the metal detectors. We can actually see what's what's going on when we're searching them. We don't have to search them in the dark. Lots of fumbling around and stuff, which um, I'm sure the ladies won't appreciate too much. I don't think men appreciate it either, actually. I don't think anybody wants to be fondled or groped too much. Um, unless it's consensual, obviously. But nobody really wants to be, like, strip searched or have, like, their anal cavity searched for, um narcotics or other contraband you know some people like are really good at like doing that thing where they can hide a screwdriver like in their ass and stuff like that i watched that movie recently called um get hard with will will ferrell and um what's his face kevin hart in it and that was like a big theme in the movie will ferrell had to hide like a shiv like in his asshole and he learned how to like you know suck the shiv up into his asshole or whatever which i thought was pretty pretty interesting um, you know, like, I would like to have that skill myself and be able to do that, but at the same time, I'm not sure that that's, like, the best skill to have. Um, in everyday life, I, I can't think of many times where I'd want to hide anything directly in my asshole, but you never know. Alright, so let's get this parole room set up here, ready to go. We don't have any power up here still, uh, but we're gonna have to start thinking about getting a boiler set up as well. We're gonna get a boiler. Probably just outside here. Uh, we'll probably just shove it like here and then it can hopefully cover both of these blocks here. That would be ideal. We're going to have to run some water up here too. Uh, we're going to have to feed off of a uh, big pipe here. Um, so let's go like out like this, the big pipe. Big pipe can come up like this, like that. And then we could also have the big pipe go up like this, like that. Come down here and connect up as well. Oh. God, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I like a big pipe a lot. Okay, perfect. That's pretty good. Let's go with that for now. Um, and then we can hook this up to some power, too. We have to get all the infrastructure, like, ready for this. It's gonna be pretty good. Awesome. And then let's also get some hot water flowing through here. We're gonna need also some radiators, because it's cold. It's very cold uh, in this part of the prison, because there's no heat currently right now. Uh, we're gonna need also a um, visitor table in here. We set this up, and then we're gonna need a light in here as well. So this is gonna be the protective custody parole room. They're gonna need it. Um, and how come there's no? What's going on with the power here? Oh, I see. Look, we're missing like one cable. Okay, one vital link is missing. 
for the power to go on inside protective custody. This is going to be nice when it's all done. I'm really looking forward to this, actually. I think it's going to be much better than what we currently have. Okay, so we're going to go like um, this with the with the hot water pipes, I guess. Some, something like that. And then something like this as well. And then all the way over to here. And then we can loop it around here like this, too. And then we're going to have to, like, bring it down here like that. And then it's going to have to come down here like that as well. And then we're going to gonna do the same thing with just the normal pipes, too. So we're going to have to go something like this. That can come down like that, I guess. Um, and then connect up to... Hang on a second. I'm getting, like, really confused here. God. It doesn't take much, does it? Okay, no, this is fine, actually. Let's go like that. Like that. We'll hook this up here like this. And then we'll run some water pipes through here and stuff. And that's pretty much the infrastructure done for protective custody. Once it's up and running... There we go. The power is coming on. This is really good. We can finally get some power in here. Let's get some more lights inside, like, where this canteen area is going to be. So we can get a light here. Let's get a light here. And then just across the way, too, we'll get, like, a light. And then another light. And then let's get a light here and here. And then we can just, like, shove one here and here as well. And then maybe, like, just in between, too. We'll just have a couple of lights lining up where the canteen's gonna be. Okay, this is good. Look, the work is being done. Everybody's in here. They're committed. They're doing the work. This is nice stuff. Good job, everybody. Excellent work. Okay, let's get some fucking doors. You know what? We don't even need do door servos here. These are gonna be the only doors. So we're just gonna have a... Holy shit, somebody's getting tased. Somebody's just been tased. Do we do need to do another shakedown? Hell yeah, we do. It turns out all the time we need to do shakedowns. You know what? I'm not sure that we're doing a shakedown right so close to when we're having intake is the best idea. That's the only thing. Intake is happening right now. We're going to get April Wolfinger in here ahead of time. Because look, here come the buses and we need to find out who these people are. If anybody needs to be put into protective custody, we're going to do it straight. Wow, there's a lot of question marks turning up today actually. Look, there's like at least four question marks turning up. We don't know who these people are. We need to make sure that they get assigned appropriately as well into like the the right places so april please make your way towards the security booth um and then we'll think about getting some guard patrols and stuff set up in protective custody and some other guards we're gonna have to maybe hire some more guards we're currently making like 22 grand a day here which is nuts and i have hundred and twenty thousand dollars in the bank too which is pretty good um where the, where the fuck is april where, where is she what the fuck is she doing down here? Oh, here she comes. Finally, she's making her way. Okay, hopefully these guys haven't been processed. No, they haven't. They oh, she's going to work now. Unbelievable. Can somebody please just bring her to the security room so we can find out what's going on? Oh, look, we found some more tunnels. Jesus Christ, they're busy. They're super busy. They're just building tunnels all the time. Oh, it's nuts. We're gonna have another escape at this rate. This is insane. Let's remove these tunnels, like, really quickly. Hang on a second. Look at this. They got outside with it, too. Unbelievable. Look at how big... Look, they almost made it out. Fuck. <laughs> we really need to get on top of this. Jesus Christ. All right, April, if you're not up for coming, we're gonna get Leleni in his, instead, then. You know what? We're gonna cancel your appointment. April. We're gonna leave you and we're gonna get Leleni instead. Maybe Leleni is just like a bit more reliable uh, in this in this case than you are. We're gonna get Leleni in to spill the beans on these new... Leleni's not coming either. Where the hell is Leleni? Okay, no. It looks like Leleni is... Okay. Leleni turns out is more reliable and 100% as well. Okay. Perfect. No new people for... That's all we wanted to know, Leleni. Perfect. Okay. And we're going to plug up all these holes and stuff as well. Is there any other um, caves being dug? No. It doesn't look like anybody is digging any more caverns. It looks like there's been some sort of altercation over here, though. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, okay, let's get a guard patrol, then. We're going to get a guard patrol in here in this airlock. Wait, not on this schedule, though. We want it to happen all the time, right? And then we're going to get another one in here. Patrolling in here, okay? And then we're going to have the usual... Guards patrolling up and down the cell blocks as well, right? Useful stuff. I think. I think. What? To here, right? Okay, perfect. And then, uh, god, it's really hard to see, actually. I don't know. Fuck, my eyes are, like, all fucked up. I can't see anything. Okay, let's, let's just restart this one, because it's got to come all the way down. Okay, perfect. 
All right, that's a lot of guards now all of a sudden. So we're gonna have to hire some more, I think. Uh, let's make sure that we have enough guards to cover all these jobs and do the intakes and everything else as well. Uh, let's just hire like, I don't know, like fucking a hundred more guards. It's good to have a lot of guards, right? We have capacity for 469 prisoners in here. We currently have 367 servant time uh, in here as well, which is nice. Very good. Just think of all those people. They could have been on the street right now, causing trouble. It looks like the clemency has been granted once again to our death row inmate, who was so close to getting the chair, but not not quite. We just we just like we just came up short in the end. We, what the fuck is happening here? Why is there no bed in here? What the f what the. F Fuck happened to the bed in here and in here? <laughs> What's going on? And how come I can't place a bed in here? This is crazy. There's two cells missing beds and I can't place beds. Can we just not see them? They're there. <laughs> okay. That's so weird. Look, there's a couple of cells where the beds just like haven't rendered for some reason. That is so strange. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in a quick build, right? And we're going to quick build the shit out of, um, wait a second. This isn't going to work. Because the quick build just comes up a little bit short, right? So we're going to have to do it, like, side by side at, at a time. And also, we're going to have to make sure that they're on the right side, too. So we will have to make sure that, um, oh, God, this is so weird. Look, we've done it, like, facing out this time. Okay, so we'll go like this. So we'll have, like, hold on a second. Have I fucked this up? Have I made these? What the? What in the fuck have I done here? Holy shit, I'm stupid. What the fuck? <laughs> Look what I've done. Look what I've actually done. Okay, it's not right. It's not right, but it's okay. Look, we're gonna get rid of all these walls. They don't need to be here. <laughs> Look, we've done this. We've done this systematically throughout the whole of Club Med. We built all these extra walls by accident. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. I thought I was tripping out for a minute. Holy crap. Okay, let's make sure that that never happens again. Let's go into clone here. Uh, and let's clone up these. Okay, now. This is better, right? This is much better. Okay, let's go like this then. And then let's do the same thing on this side. Except for the last, like... These last cells down here are gonna be, um, whatchamacallit. They're gonna be, you know what I mean when I say whatchamacallit, right? Of course I mean solitary confinement. That's what they're gonna be. Okay, we're gonna spend a whole bunch of money on getting this decked out down here, like this. We're gonna deck the halls with balls of holly or whatever the saying is. Perfect, okay. And then let's make sure in deployment as well we say that this is protected only. All of this is protected only, and that means that out here is staff only, and this is staff only out here as well, for Christ's sake, and also, what the fuck? Okay, perfect. Great, okay, looking good. Alright, so we're gonna build this up, and this is gonna be for, for protective custody only. We're gonna make sure that we have a canteen set up in here. I can't believe this. What a clusterfuck this whole playthrough has been. I'm so sorry. God, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. For all this like I know that you guys have been through it and I know it's not the best but um, it is what it is unfortunately okay so let's get some serving tables in here as well then we're gonna have like a serving table a serving table and probably a serving table we'll have three in here just for good measure right and then we'll have a couple of phone booths in here as well for them okay there's the phone booths nice they're gonna like that a lot uh, we're gonna get some weight benches in here, but first we're gonna get some tables and benches, okay? So we're gonna go like this, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Okay, that should be enough, I think. That should be more than enough for the capacity that we have in protective custody right now. Nice. Okay, we gotta find out which kitchen is gonna be serving up the food here as well. So if we go into logistics, we go into food distribution. It looks like Club Med. Uh, maybe supplying this and you know what that's probably not a bad thing because it's the biggest kitchen around and it'll have to do for now I mean we could get a kitchen uh, in here we have space to, to make it but let's just go with Club Med for now because Club Med's not even done yet uh, it's still a work in progress and that should be fine 
And, oh, the warden. Now what? Oh, no! A fire is started in the kitchen. Oh, hold on a second. Why aren't the sprinklers working? Ah, uh, for shit's sake! Come on! What the fuck? They fucking knocked out the fucking- Oh, jeez, that's so annoying. Okay, we're gonna have to get the boys in. Alright, boys, come on in. Get into this laundry room as well. It looks like the fire has knocked out the sprinkler system. And the fire is spreading. It's getting worse. There's been a death. Somebody died in the fire. <laughs> I think it's one of the cooks. Oh, look, the, the firefighters themselves are dying in the fire as well. Okay, we're gonna have to get the paramedics in. Alright, paramedics, come on. Come on in and help out here. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was a close one. We did lose one cook. Unbelievable. God, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's replace him instantly with another cook. Oh, man, we're gonna have to fix this up. The paramedics are taking their sweet time getting here. I don't know why they're going so slow. Look, they're on a break with this guy as well. They're just having a chat while they're making their way in. All right, deploy, paramedics. Go do what you're born to do. Save lives. Don't, don't walk through the shower, okay. Here they come. They're just like weaseling their way. Fucking, come on. Really now? A tunnel as well? There can't be. It's gotta be a false alarm. It's not even. For shit's sake. All right, I'll tell you what. We're gonna have to do a shakedown. We're gonna do a shakedown. And we're gonna find this tunnel wherever it is. Uh, it's up here. And um, we'll be back next time for some more of this. For fuck's sake, what a mess. We're gonna have to fix this. We're gonna have to find this tunnel as well. These are the priorities, but we'll do all that next time, all right? As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time! <laughs>